things I think young people don't realize is the importance that we got through of getting your own credit. Because they, yeah. they just mm -hmm. assume that, yeah. that they can get credit. And you know, at our time, we had to get credit yeah. to our husband. The minute I got married, we had one credit card and it had his name, not mine. And I thought, what, what happened to me? I got married. Was I erased from civilization? Yeah. I remember interviewing oh, bankers, and okay. their attitude was absolutely astounding. Why would you need credit in your own name? Uh, you're married, you know, who, who do you think you are sort of attitude. That was a real sore point for an awful lot of women. And um, it was one that was taken up uh, early on, and we had a victory there. And we were able to get women credit in their own names. While urging local banks and stores to change their policies, two Detroit area women, Joanne Parent and Valerie Angers, decided to take matters into their own hands. The uh, feminist federal credit union was the first women's credit union in the world. And it was started in Detroit by these uh, two women. And within a year, we had many loans out. We had $250,000 in loans out. And the default rate was minuscule. In fact, I was just saying, I could remember a default. Well, the first loan I ever got was from Feminist Federal. Oh, yes, and I was working at Hudson's at the time, and I had no credit, and I applied for a $600 loan to buy an old clunker car, but the car only cost 400 the other 200 was to initiate a divorce. <laughs> and we were able to use the record of the Feminist Federal Credit Union as a tool to convince the uh, Michigan no, legislature to pass uh, an act prohibiting discrimination against women in the, in the field of credit. We could finally prove that we were people in our own right, that we weren't an appendage of some man, that we, we were adults. We were actual grown-ups. We could have credit in our own name, never mind that we were in our 30s and 40s. <laughs>